Hey folks, Brian here. Welcome back to Wax Trash Treasures. Nice to see you. Nice to be part of your day. Uh, today, I wanted to go ahead and uh, open up a few packs of 1986 Leaf Baseball. This was the Canadian release of Donruss from that same year, of course. So the design is actually identical in much the same way as OPG and Tops often had similar designs. It's a very short checklist. It's only about 256 cards. And in those 256, uh, or I'm sorry, 264, 264 cards in the checklist. And in those 264 cards, cards, you'll find really two that matter, and that's Fred McGriff rookie card and Andre Scalaraga rookie card. I mean, of course, there's, you know, there's a lot of other big names of the era, right? Um, there's Roger Clemens, there's uh, Dave Mattingly, there's Wade Boggs. Uh, there's not, however, a Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco does appear as a rated rookie in 1986 Donruss, but not in 1986 Leaf. In 86 Leaf, he was replaced by Dave Shipanoff. Now, you know one of those two names, and you don't know the other name, and so that tells us really whether or not the decision to switch the players out was the right one. I'll let you figure it out. Uh, but let's see what we find in these three packs, right? Um, point of note, this is a Canadian release, so of course they printed everything in French in addition to being in English, because, of course, Montreal, uh, in addition to being a French-speaking province, did, in fact, have its own baseball team. For those of you who are too young to remember, the Washington Nationals were once the Montreal Expos. They had a mascot named Yuppie. There's a lot to be said for Yuppie. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of it. All right, this is a, uh, a little bit of cut dust here from the puzzle piece of Henry Aaron. We got Mike Hargrove. Willie Hernandez, Dan Quisenberry, Mike Pagliarulo, Lonnie Smith, Danny Cox, Terry Francona, World Series winning manager Terry Francona. You got Andre Dawson, the Hawk, with his Expos hat, right? I got Bud Black, Tony Gwynn. There's another big name of the era, and this is a really great card. This is a beautiful card in beautiful shape. I got Donnie Hill and uh, Oral Hershiser. That's a, that's a pretty solid pack. Let's see if the next one is just as good, right? Oh, it doesn't look good on the back. It's Jorge Orta. There's more Henry Aaron puzzle pieces. I got Bill Buckner. Of course, 86 was the Bill Buckner Red Sox season, right? That was the season that everybody remembers him for. Al Cowens. I got Carney Lansford. Carlton Fisk. Alfredo Griffin. Mike Brown. Donnie Moore. Don Sutton, Shane Raleigh, Steve Balboni. I got a checklist, and there's my Jorge Orta. All right, well, let's see if we get a little last pack mojo here in this last that's in last pack. Well, that's that's when you get last pack mojo. I guess usually it's the last pack, right? I got Dennis Eckersley on the back. That's good. That's a it's going to be a save. That alone makes it okay. I got Kevin McReynolds, Jim Presley, Tom Brunanski. Nick Esaski. I got Sweet Lou, who should be in the Hall of Fame. This is the Sweet. Not Lou Pinella. This is Lou Whitaker. This is the one that should be in the Hall of Fame. Here, Willie McGee, Cardinal Speedster, Ken Griffey Sr., not Jr., from his Yankees era. There, I got uh, Juan Beniquez, Rich Gedman, Cliff Johnson, Walt Terrell, and uh, Eck from his Cubs season. Well, hey, this is a... Um, it's so a pretty good set of packs, all other things being equal. I didn't get either of the two rated rookies that make this set what it could be. But, you know, all other things being equal, like I said, this is pretty good. And uh, 86 Don Russ is sort of one of the harbingers of the Junk Wax era. I think the Junk Wax era probably could be said to have started in 1986, maybe 1985. Um, there were literally hundreds of millions of these cards printed. Don Russ and uh, and its its partner company, Leaf, of course, and then Fleer and Tops, they were all in an arms race. They were printing basically as many of these two and a half inch by three and a half inch pieces of cardboard as they could because they knew that they could sell them. They put them in gas stations, they put them in grocery stores, they put them in checkout lines, put them in department stores, obviously toy stores, you know, KB Toys, which was still a thing at the time. Of course, B. Dalton Books, also still a thing at the time, doesn't exist anymore either. Uh, you could put them in basically any shop and uh, and people would buy them. So they knew they could produce them and the, the market would bear it, at least for the time being. Nowadays, we look back on it and we see there are way too many of these cards produced, but that makes them affordable. And, you know, 86 Leaf is a it's an interesting set. It's got this really solid, 
you know, strong blue and black striped border. It's got this nice sort of off-center design, a very, frankly, a very simplistic logo type up here. A little, frankly, it's pretty inoffensive, but it's very clear what it is. Fleer followed that model for many years as well, too. It's a fun set. It's small checklist. It's easy to collect. It's easy to assemble the checklist. It's got two really great rookie cards in it in Galarraga and McGriff. Go buy some. Go buy some of these cards. You can't have these. These are mine. But you go buy somebody else's. Go buy, size, go buy somebody else's 1986 Leaf set and have yourself a good time. And then maybe pick up an 86 Donruss Canseco, you know, just on the side to fill it out. This is a lot of fun to open. Thanks for thanks for coming along with me. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Watch some of my other videos. I, I do this a lot. And uh, see you next time. Thanks a lot.